Can you just uh, kind of backtrack and tell me the story of how you got into stand-up comedy? Because I, I loved how you told that story on the on the Smartless podcast interview that I that I heard with you recently. Uh, well, I mean, I just basically I don't remember what I which part of the story that the DUI school that I went to that I got yeah. a DUI and had. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, I got a DUI when I was like 21. I think it was the week after I turned 21, but I was still using my sister's fake ID um, because I had forgotten that I had turned 21. That's the kind of state of affairs that things were in at that age in my life. Um, and I, uh, so I got pulled over. And so when I got arrested, it was like, I had got not only a DUI, but I was arrested for impersonating uh, uh, someone, which was my sister because I had used her ID. So it was a double, dip, it was double whoopsie doodle basically. And they kept me in civil brand uh, county jail in Los Angeles for like 72 hours, which was of course ridiculous because by the time I left there, I was trading um, sandwiches for tampons. But after I got out of that, they told me, you know, I had to go to DUI school, which is where they send you when you get a DUI. So basically in this school, you go like Wednesday nights for like eight weeks. And in that time, they basically teach you how to never get a DUI again or how to get out of one in case you are pulled over again to never, ever admit, you know, that you've been drinking. And I just thought, oh, this is such a strange operation. They're basically training you on how to, like, evade the police the next time. But within that <laughs> class, you got up every week and somebody told their story about uh, you know, their experience. And I was really scared to have to speak publicly in front of anybody. And, uh, and by the time I did though, it was, I was up there and the cr crowd and the class was just laughing and laughing because my story was so ridiculous. I called the officer racist. Meanwhile, we were both white and I, uh, I just wouldn't get off stage. And then finally the instructor from the class was like, listen, this isn't a stand-up comedy show. This is you telling your story. And I was like, oh, and I got off stage and everyone's like, oh my God, you should be a stand-up comedian. You should be a stand-up comedian. And that's basically where I went from there. I went and started doing stand-up. So without that DUI class, one thing leads to, like everyone says, everything happens for a reason. <laughs>